not long up. I'm actually going into town right now. I've got quite a bit of stuff to do today. Um, firstly, I have a car service, which I'm late for <laughs> already. I need to get this thing serviced. Sucks, but needs to be done, and I'm glad I've actually booked it in, because every single time I have a day off, I always forget. So I've finally done that. Um, after that, well actually, while that's happening, I'm gonna go in, um, around the corner and visit my bank manager. Uh, today is the day that the pest and building inspection gets done. I'm pretty sure it's already been done. My, my real estate agent's already given me a call and said that it all looks pretty good. Um, and that, well he actually said it looks excellent and that I should uh, give him a call when I can, so that's what I'm going to do. But first of all, I'm going to go to the bank and hand in a couple of payslips, a couple of my latest payslips, and redo uh, my loan application. So it's probably about 30 days away from settlement at the moment. Uh, it's not far at all. I think it, I think it is exactly 30 days away. It's the 22nd of um, March today, and I settle on the 22nd of April. So. It's going to come around quick, and I definitely need to get this application in, so that's what I'm doing. So after that, what else have we got? After my car service, I'm going to clean my car. So hopefully I've got, I feel like I've got a fucking brand new car by 1 o'clock today. And then after that, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to get a haircut. Got to get a haircut too, so that's important. Um, it's getting into a bit of a mop right now, as you guys may see, but I'm not cutting the top, I'm not cutting the top at all, I am officially growing it out, so I'll just be shaping up the sides and back, and uh, we'll continue the quest to the man bun. So, yeah, I am going to grow one, I will tie it back once in my life, I guarantee it, and if I hate it, I'll cut it off straight away. And I'll be like, fuck, that was a waste of time. But if I like it, who knows, it might stick around for ages. But we've got to get there first. But anyways, uh, no food today as of yet. I stuck to the diet yesterday. I'm feeling a little bit hungry this morning. My, my abs are showing, which is always a good sign. Um, and, you know, all I've got is a uh, drink here with some BCAAs in it, so I'll just be sipping on that for the first two or three hours. If, um, if my car service isn't done by the time I'm finished doing the shit I need to do, I'm just going to go to Anytime Fitness, which is just around the corner again, and do some cardio and get that under my belt, because I don't want to walk around in the sun, it's too hot. So that is what I'm doing, guys. Hope you guys are all traveling well. Hope you're all having a good day wherever you are and trading hard and kicking goals and all that jazz. Because I am. And I'm bringing you along for the ride. I used to work here, you know. Three, three and a half years ago, I was selling fucking cars for a job and hated it. So glad I actually got out of this industry. But in saying that, there is some, there is some, um, you know, opportunity to earn some pretty decent money. But I just hated selling, to be fair. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside now. All right, guys, the car is in, and we are walking just around the corner to the bank. But before I go there, I better give him a call to see if he's actually in the office. Do that. Hey mate, good man, are you in the office? Uh, probably, I'll be in, I've just um, dropped my car for a service, so I'm just around town at the moment, but um, yeah, depending on how long you, you'll be. One o'clock, yeah, that sounds fine, that sounds good. Yeah, all right then, too easy. All right, see ya. Fuck. That didn't work out as planned. <laughs> it's quarter past 11, and I'm going back there at one, and my car's not gonna be done until three. So let's just put my plane completely out of whack. But as I said, 
if this happened, I'm going straight to the gym to get a session out of the way. There she is. So as per usual, the little inkling in the back of my head to smash some weights rather than do some cardio is very strong in this one. So we'll see what actually happens. I'm really liking 
um, that sort of superset, one push down movement with one extension movement. I'm really liking the, um, just the way it feels. Uh, you know, it's slightly different parts of the tricep, but um, I'm still going, you know, relatively heavy weight. It's nothing, nothing stupid, like I'm, I'm not getting any more than 10 reps on each, um, each exercise. So, uh, yeah, probably hit about five or six of those. Triceps are done. I didn't, I mean, I don't really, you know, I didn't think I was gonna do weights, so. Anyways, it's been about 50 minutes. I've got about half an hour until I need to go to the bank. So I'm gonna go out onto the floor, do a little bit of mobility. I'm gonna do some foam rolling and then I'm going to head off to the bank. After that, I'll be doing my cardio outside. So, yeah. But, um, feeling good. Feeling... Definitely tightening up, which is what we want. So, yeah. Just another, another workout in the books, guys. Get it done wherever you can. Fit it in man, fit it, fit it around your lifestyle, fit it around your life. Peace. What is up, everybody? It's a lot later than I expected. Uh, this fucking hell, the car service took like literally three hours. So after I went to the gym, went to go see the bank manager, that went relatively well. Um, I put in an application and now I need to get, uh, you know, six months history of bank statements as I had to do for the first loan, um, credit card statement, and I've got to get the copy of the contract. So once I do that, then they can basically give me an answer whether I can afford it or not. Um, affordability is not, an, is not an issue. The only issue I've got at the moment is actually coming up with the $24,500 that I need to cover the deposit, the stamp duty, pest and building inspection, and conveyancing fees. So as long as I've got that amount of cash, which I'm pretty close to, everything's gonna be fine. So that's the only thing I'm really stressed about. Um, got a haircut, finally. Got the mop, the mop shaved, sides and back. What do you reckon? It's gonna be all the way at the back soon, so <laughs> that should be good. Uh, yeah, what else did I do? Didn't clean the car, but it is serviced. So that makes me feel good. Um, and I am, I'm fucking surprised. They said that it didn't need much coolant, they just topped it up. And after driving here in Alice Springs for like six months without ever having touched the coolant, no water, no coolant, nothing, uh, I would have thought that it would be getting relatively low, but apparently not. So, hey, maybe my, my car doesn't use any coolant whatsoever, which is awesome. So that was good, but uh, anyways, I actually haven't rung the real estate agent or rung the pest and building inspection company. So I got a call from the real estate agent this morning telling me that he'd gone to the property and let the uh, pest and building inspection company in. So they've obviously done it. Um, the real estate agent said that 
you know, it's looking really good. Uh, the building looks good, which I already knew. But as far as the report goes, I need to pay for it first, obviously, and then it will be, and then it will get sent to me. So before the long weekend, because it's Easter Friday, so I definitely don't want to wait uh, too long. I want to get that back because uh, on Friday, I'm pretty sure is it's been ten days since I signed the contract, ten business days. So that means that the remainder of the ten thousand uh, dollars deposit needs to be paid. Ten thousand dollars truck, you know, it's put into a trust until settlement day. Then I pay the remainder of the deposit plus all the conveyancing fees, and the title gets handed over. So, got those two things to do tomorrow. Back at work tomorrow. No rest for the wicked. Fucking one day off. <sighs> I don't know. But I tell you what, once I get this house, man, and I know that what I'm working for is for a purpose to pay off these two places or at least keep them, you know, keep them running, uh, building my fortune, building wealth, it's not going to be a problem for me to work heaps of hours again, you know. I, I've really slogged it out to get to this point, but I know that I can't stop now. I've got to keep, you know, keep, keep working hard, keep working those hours, keep earning the money, otherwise you know, I'm not going to be able to afford these places, so that's not a problem. I guess my ultimate goal would be to earn the money that I need through health and fitness as an industry. That is my ultimate goal because health and fitness is my passion. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, nothing, nothing that I talk about I can get more passionate about and more into and, and really feel positive about helping people than the health and fitness industry. I love it. I love training. I love what nutrition can actually do to the body, you know, like it, it, realizing that shit, the first thing you the first thing you fucking learn when you want to lose weight is calories in versus calories out. Even, even realizing that and seeing numbers on a piece of paper and thinking shit, if I stick to those numbers, it's not just some wishy-washy bullshit fucking la la land stuff that you're trying to stick to. These are literally specific numbers. You stick to them, you're going to lose fucking weight. And how cool is that? I think that's really cool. And that's what I want to try and, you know, preach through flexible dieting, not through chicken breast, broccoli and brown rice. Fuck that. You know, you might have one one meal a day like that, but you definitely no, don't need every meal every day to be like that. And that is going to be the way that I do my meal plans for my clients and I can't wait because I know, I know, I know I can help people lose weight. There's no doubt about it. 110% I can do it. I can help you. You've just got to stick to the fucking criteria. You got to, you've got to be committed. And in saying that, I won't be taking any clients on board unless they are 110% committed because there's no point. And they're probably just going to give me a bad name. You know what I mean? I don't want to put my name with people who aren't committed. I will, I probably will. I'm probably not going to know that you're not committed until until it's obvious, but you know, if I can say anything before before I bring anyone on, on board, I'm I'm going to, you know, let them know that you only get out what you put in and um, it's going to be up to you, but I'm here to answer any questions and be your coach. Fucking shit coming on fucking day. Look, no car.